got it. Stroke after stroke, stroke on the smoke. They tell me to quit, no, they say what I'm told. They help me forget that this world. Well done, my friend. Our hero returns. You brought joy to Siba. I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Siwa will always need its magi. But you are the protector here now. I'm always pleased to help. Come see me when you are set and you are ready to go. We will drink beers to our friendship, huh? <laughs> Yes, we took the abyss down. Or the Ebis. The false oracle complete. Level 7, let's go. That was amazing. <laughs> very, very, very cool. I'm aesthetic. Let's check out. Our new quest. Oh no, there's one more priest I got it free. <coughs> yeah, I'm going back and doing that. <coughs> I would call my horse, but I don't mind running around. Let's have Sinu help us out with this really quickly. Hopefully he's not too far. There's a treasure. There he is. Let's go help our homie. Thank you, Sinu. I don't know where I'd be without you, Sinu. This place is crazy looking. Am I even supposed to be down here? Kind of feel like I'm not. Temple. Maybe it's on a different part. <clears throat> Here we go. I think we're back on track. Oh, what's this? Can't read that right now. Water, please, water. There's our uh, our friend. We're trying to help set this man free. Ayak, what are you doing here? Saving your life. Bayek, they will kill you if they find you. They won't find me. By the grace of Amun, that's all of them. Nice. 
Another quest complete. <clears throat> some of this loot over here so that's what we're gonna do real quick soft leather hard leather coins coins and more coins a gang of loot over here and over there. Let's get this over here first. <clears throat> nice. These people just leave money laying around everywhere. I like it. Let's go over here now. Ooh. Got a rare item to sell. Jeez, there's a lot of loot in this camp. Grab some more right here. And then we can leave. Nice. I see like a little flame icon, so we're gonna try to light this thing on fire. Not this one, but uh, the one over here. No! That worked out. This dude is a boss, man, I tell you. Oh, it's a trap. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Few more things is a loot. Get all the money we can get. Oops. I think I looked at this. Let's double check. Yeah. One of those way too long to read ones. Got some crazy animals everywhere. I guess I'm gonna climb this tall wall. And down we go. Come on, baby, drop down, drop down. Nice. Are you ready? 
It is a long journey. No. Not ready yet? I understand. So much to do in Siwa. People need you here. Okay. So we are ready to leave Siwa. I'm gonna talk to the blacksmith. Make sure we are stocked up on the latest weapons and gear. And then we will head off to a new area. Ooh. Where's my homie? What to do, bro? Are you ready? It is a long journey. Let's go. I must leave Siwa. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said if you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And bike. Do something about that beard. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Oh shit! Layla, you need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Layla! Wakey wakey! <sighs> Don't make me come down there. Layla? Layla? <coughs> come on back. Layla, are you with me? Hepipti. I told you not to call me that. Thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The Animus is rejecting you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest to Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how you handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. <sighs> anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. <sighs> oh, this is crazy. It's a whole database. Let's listen to some of these audio clips. So long. Thanks for all the fish, Berkeley. March 21st, 2006. The day Layla Hassan drops out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not finishing that Jane Eyre paper. I got a job, and I'm headed to Philly next week. This whole classroom thing, it's not for me. Mom and Dad are freaking out, but they'll accept it. I'll be working towards something real, making real money, and I'll be closer to home. Not that I'll visit any more often. Sophia promised there would always be a place for me at Absurgo, as long as I show them what I can do with a circuit board and a pair of pliers. Sure, I'll have to work my way up to a place on her special project, but that doesn't matter. It won't be long before she or her father, Mr. Alan Rickin, notices what I'm capable of and asks for my help on the Animus. I swear, I get more done reading the latest copy of Wired on the toilet than the rest of the guys do all day in the lab. I mean, the body band? Really? If people can't take a walk on their own, they aren't going to listen to a watch that tells them to do it either. This is all so pointless. I should just go back to... Wait. That's probably what the body band would tell me to do. 
What I should do is build something that will simultaneously blow people's minds and the doors off the Animus Project. Nothing at Abstergo Fitness is going to be big enough for that. I'm bored as hell. But there's nothing like boredom to stimulate creativity. Yep. I think the body band needs a little adjustment to its language processing program. The right decision always feels like home. My stuff's the same. My locker smells the same. It's like I never left. But I did. And I can never unlearn what I know now. How will it change my work at the Historical Research Division? Hard to say. All I know is that it will. Our Dom booked us a lunch. Nothing fancy. She wanted me to meet Deanna Geary, my new medical officer. She looks like she was born in the middle of a cornfield, but she seems okay. I can't believe she left homemade cookies on my desk. I don't know why I told her about getting stood up last weekend. I never talk about personal stuff at work. At least it seems like I can trust her. You need that to stay alive in the field. Too bad most of Abstergo's tactical units don't consider trust a priority. in the official credits, but all those emails, all those middle-of-the-night phone calls from Madrid, there's a lot of me in there. Sophia, if I'd known you just wanted to strip mine my brain and leave me in the dark, I never would have followed you. Go away! There's no candy here! Nothing in life is ever free. Ever. The Animus. I can tell. I know it wouldn't have worked without my advice. Just look how they did the heat sink. The VRMs. The high amperage rating by transistor. It was me who told them it would offset failure of the... What's this? Hello there, DNA reader module. Are you ringing my doorbell? Maybe there's some candy here after all. Hey. This lady's not playing. I guess, uh, we can listen to the last three. I've come to the conclusion that Sophia is shit at hiring staff. Wow. The entire Madrid facility. Ugh. How do they not see it? It would be so easy. You just have to parse the genetic memory input and work from smaller data pools. You could even process incomplete samples and still create a reliable model for high levels of synchronization. So smart. The reader module and the decryption software would need an update, but it's doable. Madrid's probably congratulating themselves just for getting this far. Meanwhile, I'm partying with some congealed veggie curry, three plasma screens, a disassembled animus, and Raw Victoria's debut album on oh. loop. Sahete. Dee will be mad when she sees how I use Milton's DNA, but what did she expect when she asked me for help? I needed someone's genetic profile to test the animus. Wow. And, well, his was right there. All in the name of science. That's messed up. What do you mean all in the name of the science? girl called Dina. I like morning briefings. They're short, minimal nonsense, and they have free coffee. No downtime this week. They're putting me and Dee on a plane to Alexandria two days from now. I don't get why Hathaway's in such a rush. We're being deployed to extract an artifact. If it were a person of interest, the push would make more sense. A person could be halfway across the world in a couple of hours. But an artifact that's been sitting around for 2,000 years, it's not going anywhere. An artifact of high interest. Heard that before. It always ends up being some crappy pottery shard or half an old <laughs> book. My animus runs on DNA, not tableware. It'll be strange visiting Egypt for the first time since 2013. Back then I went looking for my roots and found trouble instead. It's good that Dee's coming. She always keeps me from doing anything too stupid. I wonder how that went. And the last one from this audio file found the mother load turns out the artifact of high interest is also a person of interest oh. a mummy and a golden opportunity I've informed D of some changes I'm making to our assignment parameters she acted mad but I know she's eager to see my animus field tested Abstergo won't mind well they would if they found out 
But they won't. <laughs> Hathaway's intel was a disaster. They have no idea what's going on with this extraction. Field tech is fun and all, but that's not why I left Berkeley. If the Animus lets me ride DNA this old, if the reader can model the missing codons and extrapolate the genetic memories that aren't mine, Sophia would lose her Abstergo. <laughs> Abstergo will come to me on their hands and knees. My name will be right up there with Warren Vidix. Anamita Kidaminda. Too bad the Madrid facility got blown up. But I bet they'll build a new one soon. This one will be in Philly. And its lead engineer will be Leila Hassan. And that's the last one. Okay, so that girl's doing some rogue stuff. She's not playing. Okay, let's check out these picture files. Aw. Guess she's just a little girl. Riding my bike in Queens without training wheels. 1989. Up to no good, 1994. Backstage at a concert, Madison Square Garden, 2000. Barclays Dorm, 2004. The Call of Adventure, see you later Philly, 2011. Pinball contest, that looks crazy. Ask me anything. Okay. That's pretty cool. There's a Still looking for the cyclosporin? I definitely packed it in the med kit. It's so cool that we get to play as this girl. A scientist. Got the cyclosporin. Two CC should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. Oops. Oh, we can walk around before we go back in. Yeah, let's look around. No rush. Okay, this is some of the stuff we were just looking at. Yeah. No thank you. What's going on out here? We're in some cave? This is crazy. Whoa. I feel like I gotta get lost out here. Alright, we'll explore that another time. Whoa. I did see a circle of interest. Here we go, interact. Damn it, my papers went everywhere. Whoops, anything important? Yeah, the notes on the animus. Ooh. The genetic sequencer blueprint. Never got the creases out. Hey, kind of glad we came back out here, though. See? Sometimes you just gotta explore, guys. Take your time. Smell the roses. Generator's holding up. Good job, Layla. Where's the rest of my papers? My hard work. Ooh, another one. Oh, found my notes on the gene sequencing code. Oh, very nice. Are you ever 
were gonna tell Milton that you tested it with his DNA? Tell no, who what? and neither. What is going on with my controller? Are you? There's more than one way to donate your body to science. That is true. Okay, uh, what's out here? What do we have? Anything good? I keep looking back because I don't want to miss nothing. Got some food, someone's cooking up some soupy dope. Chill a little hut. This is sick. This is really, really cool. This game is extremely free roam. Whoa. What is this super far? <laughs> what is this super far view? Like. I shouldn't get too far from the cave. Oh. It's not letting me really control her. Well, I'm controlling her, but I can't control the camera. So, we're getting these really weird camera views. It's like, peace, I'm out, though. I shouldn't get too far from the cave. What if one of my papers flew out here, though? Our honey buns, let's get back inside. No more papers. So there's nothing really out here. But we did find two pieces of our uh, research in the cave. <clears throat> okay, so before we go into the animus, oh, what's this? See, take your time. What do we got? D never puts in enough snacks. Empty box of cereal. Horrible. Let me look around, man. Hold on with that. Beep beep. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? By ex mummy. Whoa. Real chatterbox, that one. Whoa, this is the guy that we're playing with. This is his mummy. You see his face? I'm trying to get a good camera angle of it. That's crazy. That's him. Like, when he doesn't have all the facial hair, that's what he looks like. And that's his mummy, and they're connecting it to the machine so they can relive his past. And get more information on what's going on some secret stuff so that is pretty cool that they give you guys the insight in the back uh the backstory yeah this is awesome glad we looked around before we just jumped back in so uh let's go back playing as our awesome guy live some of his uh memories going back in this is so badass yeah it is Careful. I like this chick. She's cool. <laughs> 